Hi, this is keyboardist Jonathan Fritzen, and you're watching Elements of Jazz TV. Elements of Jazz, your visual jazz experience. My first instrument was drums. I started playing drums when I was real young. My parents basically just, you know, gave me a drum at birth and I started hitting, you know, and when I was a few years later, I started making drum sets of, you know, pots and pans and the, you know, the kitchen stuff. So, so drums was my first instrument. I picked up piano when I was about six or seven years old. I think I picked up bass when I was 12, 13, because, you know, there was a lot of instruments lying around because, you know, the musical family. And when you're young, you don't question things, you just do things, you know. So, you know, picking up different instruments wasn't something that was unnatural. It's just like, you know, it's, it's all music. You just play, you play it like that, play it like that, or you play it like that. I remember when I was like in my teens, I turned on the radio because I, you know, I love to listen to radio and I would be flipping the radio in my grandmother's car. And I would hear, I heard something that was smooth jazz, contemporary jazz or something, and I really liked Wow, this is real cool. I'm really liking this. I had no clue then that I would be doing it myself years later, so... From my brand new CD, Magical, yes. that we're going to be celebrating tonight. There we go. Yes. And I'll tell you, this CD, we just literally finished it last week. I got the first copy two days ago. It came from the printers, so... I still smell the ink on it. <laughs> So tonight is going to be the first time ever we're going to be performing some of these tunes live. But we're going to play a lot of the oldies as well. And here comes another title track, the song Diamonds from my CD, Diamonds. <laughs> high school I was trying out for the Royal Academy of Music in Stockholm. I tried out on drums and on piano and I wasn't accepted on drums but on piano. So it was kind of just you know it just kind of happened but now I'm you know I'm really thankful that was the way the path that it happened. You know, going to the Royal Academy of Music in Stockholm was a great thing for me. I took six long years there and was one of the first students who actually got a master's degree in jazz. I was practicing eight to ten hours every day, you know, real hard. So that time was real good to develop my technique and just kind of study and, you know, get real focused on that. So I'm very thankful for those, those years. But also, I managed to finish up my first album when I was just leaving school. When I ended up making my first album, Lovebirds, uh, I played all the eight instruments on that myself and, you know, did everything. So that was a real cool feeling for me to kind of just take all those different instruments and put it into one, you know, thing, so.
describe your own music and your influences and um, I think for me that one thing that you know maybe makes my music sound the way it does is probably because I have dual cult cultural backgrounds in that sense uh, very heavy you know influence from from jazz old old and new jazz but I'm very much you know into a funk R&B soul pop and and also, you know, with the Swedish background, some classical music as well. And I think, you know, I just take a little of everything. Well, artists that have influenced me, there's so many. Um, I would, if the first thing that comes to mind is the Beatles, actually. I love Boney. I love Dave Kaz. Uh, Paul Taylor is one of my favorites. I really want to work with him sometime. And uh, Jesse J. We've been doing a lot of work together, both stage and, you know, she was on my last album. She's fantastic. Darren Ron, Paul Hardcastle, Bob James, Paul Brown, who's also on my new album. So, you know, it's just been real cool having all these, you know, incredible musicians, you know, that are now my friends and, you know, that it's just like incredible. So. And the album features some incredible people, yeah, some great friends and idols of mine. We got on sax, Boney James, Jackie Joyner. Darren Ron, Vincent Ngala, we have Paul Brown on guitar, and we have lots of other guests. And we also have a lot of these incredible musicians on the album that are here tonight on stage. <laughs> CD release party for the album and it was real fun to you know get to do some of these songs that I've been working on for so long by you know talk about the title uh, the title has two meanings to me kind of uh, magical first it's it's the power of music and secondly I was real into like hobby magic when I was little so on the album cover you can kind of see me doing some kind of cards I don't know what it is actually it's actually my CD that kind of and I thought, well, this 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 looks like a magical cover. So you know, and picking a favorite track is real hard because you know I like them all in different ways. We we just literally finished the album one week ago, so I'm just gonna kind of let it rest and then you know listen with fresh ears in a couple weeks. <laughs>
www.jonathanfritzen.com If you want to purchase my new stuff, um, Magical isn't going to be out officially into the summer and you'll be able to find it basically everywhere we can find CDs, uh, Amazon, iTunes, there are a lot of great people like I said earlier, you know Paul Taylor is one of my favorite, I would love to work with him, love to work with Dave Koz. And maybe we're cool to do like a piano duet thing with, you know, Bob James, Brian Culberson or somebody. That's also th something that would be really cool to do, you know. So I have lots of ideas. One thing that I did for Magical, that was actually like a bonus track. Um, the last song on the album is only piano and full string orchestra. 35 strings and just piano floating on top. And that was a real cool thing. It was a song I wrote like seven years ago. It was supposed to be on my first album, but I've never kind of felt the opportunity and you know, I really wanted to do it the way it was supposed to be done with, with all the strings and just kind of, so that was a new experience and really cool. <laughs> Everybody who has been supporting my records over the year, this is my fourth album, and this would never have been possible without all your support. I mean, that it's all about the fans and what you guys do, because thanks to you, I can continue to grow, I can continue to make more music, and I, I, I couldn't be more thankful than that. So. Thank you so much.